Now, KEZI 9 Sports with Ben Creighton. It was a night that featured the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows. Heartbeats raced with excitement of another possible bowl victory and 10-win season, followed by heartbeats of nerves and anxiousness. All that mixed together created the makings of an Alamo Bowl that Duck fans will surely want to forget. The Alamo Bowl, Oregon, TCU, Vernon Adams preparing for his first and only bowl game of his career. Ducks running out into the field. And Matt Lubick making his debut as offensive coordinator. And what a good start to his new duties in the first. Vernon Adams, with lots of time in the pocket, finds a wide open Darren Carrington for the touchdown. Ducks strike first out of the gate, 7-0 Carrington, wearing number 22 to honor his late friend Markel Bird. But then scary news for Oregon after going up 14-0. Still in the first, Adams throws it deep down the sideline on second down, intended for Braylon Addison. But Matt Hegarty down on the turf back at the line of scrimmage, suffering an apparent knee injury. Doug Brenner having to warm up on the sidelines. Hegarty would eventually get up and walk under his own power to the locker room, but would not return. But the drive will continue for Oregon. Once again, giving it to Royce Freeman, who gets into the end zone. He would end up setting the Oregon single-season rushing record, surpassing the Michael James three-touchdown Oregon lead in just the first quarter. In the second now, you got to share the love a little bit. This time, Tony Brooks, James finds the end zone right there. 28 to nothing Ducks just running away with it. But a few drives later, the injury bug was infectious for Oregon. Vernon Adams takes off on first down, lowers his helmet. You can see it right here on instant replay. Gets hit, helmet to helmet contact. He would walk off to the locker room and came back out in street clothes after halftime. His day was over, which means Jeff Locke would come into the game for the remainder of the night which began the di downward spiral for the Ducks. In the fourth, TCU fights back. Now an 11-point deficit. Aaron Green gets the direct snap, takes off, reaches for the pylon, and gets it 31-26. to Now the two-point conversion to make it a field goal game. The wide receiver reverse, Sean Nixon, to Buck Jones. Good, 31-28. Then marching down the field, Jaden Overcrum nails the field goal. 31 unanswered, 18 total yards for Oregon in the second half. Overtime we go. First OT. Bram Kohlhausen, a strike to Emmanuel Porter, 38 to 31 TCU. Then Ducks having to respond. Royce Freeman gets the extra push from behind, and the Ducks tie it at 38 after a pair of field goals in the second OT. Kohlhausen takes off. No one brings him down. Gets into the end zone. Horn Frogs wouldn't convert the mandatory two-point conversion, but on fourth down, Jeff Lockie rolls, scrambles, fires over the middle. And Denzel Johnson deflects it away from Darren Carrington and seals it for TCU. Ties the largest comeback in bowl history. What might have been if Vernon Adams didn't get hurt and stayed in the game. So as mentioned, TCU matches the largest comeback in bowl game history, being down 31 to nothing at the half and taking it 47-41 in triple overtime. Also, the first time Oregon has failed to win 10 games since the 2007 season. After Vernon Adams was done for the night, Jeff Lockie only threw for 36 yards. Surely a disappointing night for the Ducks, who were in absolute position to win. Our own Kristen Rogers has more from San Antonio.